Mark here again on the culinary compass. And today I'm in a village um, about an hour from uh, Kumi and just uh, was here learning about their village savings and loan program. But there is no ability to go anywhere without a welcome uh, and a greeting of tea or food. And today it will be a departure uh, with food. And we will eat many of the same foods I've been having here. Um, as you can see, we have the local millet bread on a beautiful chicken with broth. Food politically is used as a weapon uh, in many parts and of the world. there's great dependency. Aid programs often will um, result in greater dependency within the third world. We think we're helping, but uh, it's, it's a very complicated issue. Um, anyway, uh, food, however, is not just something that is used to separate and divide people and make them poor. Um, it is also a great equalizer. It is something that brings us all together. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in, and I will see you a little later here on the Culinary Compass. So, yes, yes. So today's uh, atape, atapa, atapa, today's atapa, the yeast has had a greater impact than back at the parish. The parish atapa is a little thicker, uh, and I, uh, as someone who enjoys uh, puffy things, I'm sure I'll enjoy it very much. Um, and so we will be having some rice, a uh, beautiful smoked fish, looks like in maybe somewhat of a peanut type of broth. Um, and uh, as is often the case, and one of my favorite things in the world chicken. is chicken <laughs> soup, but with lots of fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna have a little smoked fish. You have seen already how some of these things are made in the culinary compass. Um, but uh, as, uh, as you can see, uh, in everywhere I've been, this is very much the local fare. Claire, what do you like best? The chicken. The chicken. Yeah. Usually yeah. or yeah. usually or just today? Usually. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, what do you like the best? I like atapa. That's your favorite? Oh, yes. But what kind of broth do you like with the atap? Which kind of meat chicken. broth? Chicken. Chicken. Chicken broth. Yes. Just like me. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. just like me. Just like me. All right, so you know, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time here talking, so I think it's some time to eat. Mm, uh, so, uh, Violet, oh, you have your mouth all full. <laughs> Come on, Violet, get with the program. Violet, uh, you told me that this uh, atapa, uh, uh, atapa, atap, atap yes. uh, is from uh, Ethiopia, is the origin. No, 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 no. no. But it is eaten there. Not really. They have their local one called okay. Enjera. Enjera. And in, in, uh, in Ethiopia, you eat with your right hand. Yes. Okay, not with a fork. No. Now, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. I have a, a bad hand. Yes. You know, I'm so kind of so I'm kind of handy, disabled. Okay, so uh, what's can I eat with my left hand? Yeah, you can. Are you sure? As long as you not to, uh, split the soup on yourself because oh. you're supposed to... Um, Sort of roll it and then uh, uh, place a hole in the middle, in the in middle. to scoop the soup. Oh, that's going to be very hard for me <laughs> to do that. So it's okay. Yes. Will anybody be offended? Not at all. Do I have to tell them first that I have a problem with my arm? Not really. Can I just wave my arm and look kind of like this? Yes. I can yes. do that? Yes. It's the best, what's the best way for me to let people know? <laughs> that's what? I should tell them that I have a problem or should I just wave my hand like that? You don't even need to wave it. No? They will just see an understand. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Will you be okay, Claire, if I'm eating with my right hand? Very fine. Yes? Yeah. Are you sure? Very sure. Are you positive? Very positive. And what if it was your parents? Would they be okay with it too? Yeah, very okay. And what if there was an elder here? Maybe not. No. He would be okay. He would be okay? Yes. Some children okay. Now tell me, what about if somebody's left-handed? Left-handed, yeah. yeah. Although those cases are few. And uh, sometimes they are saying they are talented. The ones who are left-handed are talented in a way. Either if you're using a left hand for writing or for doing much of the work, it is more active than the right. Okay.